everyone, this is Jacob, and this is how to make steel text in Photoshop. So, open up your Photoshop and create a new document, whatever size you want. And first of all, we're going to fill the background layer with my favorite, a dark gray. So just select a dark gray and say Alt Delete and fill the background with that color. Now create a new layer and use the text tool to type in whatever text you want. I'm using a copper plate gothic bold and just type in you know your word and I will change this change it to a light gray that's about this alright so we have that now to make it look like it's broken up we're gonna rasterize this layer and now we're going to take the pen tool and we're just going to create like this triangle through the S here. And I'll right click make selection and you will have this selection here. Now press V on the keyboard and click inside of the selection and drag it down a little bit. See how the S separates? And that should be good. So go to select, deselect. And that gives us kind of a broken up thing. So do this just randomly for every letter. So I'm just going to take this and go through the T and I'm gonna make like a a box there say make selection and then press V on the keyboard and drag this it'll it gives it kind of like a broken up look so I'm going to do this for the rest of the letters and I will see you when I'm done with that alright so we are done with that as you can see I kind of varied it and um, made it look you know broken up All right. So now that we have that, we are going to um, make a new layer and drag in a metal texture. Alright, I have this one, and it's kind of big, and it's facing long ways, so I'm just going to rotate it, um, not 320, 90 degrees, and I'm going to hold shift and drag the corner to scale it proportionally. And I'm just going to fill up the entire picture like this, right? Now hit enter and rasterize that layer and select overlay as the blending mode or whatever that is. Now right click on the steel thumbnail, say select pixels, go back up to your metal texture and just apply the mask. That'll give our letters kind of a steel look. Now we are going to duplicate this layer, the steel layer. Whoops, I deleted it. Duplicate this. Blur or select pixels on the bottom layer and select black as your color. Press Alt Delete. That will fill the bottom layer in with black. Go to select, deselect, filter, blur, Gaussian blur and blur it by about 15 or whatever looks good to you doesn't matter alright now hold control select all three layers and just say merge layers alright so now we have this one steel piece here now go down to this FX button here and go to bevel and emboss and turn the depth all the way up to 1000 and you can play with the other settings if you want but I think just doing that looks fine so we have that done so now it looks like real steel now if you want to add an extra effect to it you can uh, duplicate this layer hit control T to bring up the transformation and drag this top bar down like so what we're doing here is we're going to make a reflection so drag this up here like so and we're gonna put this underneath the normal layer alright now click the mask button go to your gradient tool and make sure you have a black to transparent All right now just click just below where the letters end hold shift and drag it up and that'll give you like a faded reflection kind of effect and um, that's it I hope you enjoyed 
Uh, please subscribe, and until next time, see you later.